Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. I'm just going to go through a list of materials and tools that you should have if you're working in the game. Um, also, there'll be some things that, I'll, that won't be in the list, but please feel free to write them in the comments, things that I've missed out or what you think are essential for any um, building services, HVAC, um, domestic, commercial, um, gas engineer, or plumber, or anybody in any field, carpenter, let's put a few things in there which you think are relevant. This list is more for a domestic and commercial gas engineer, sort of things they should have and things they should check that they have regularly. So um, let me just go through this um, list and I do intend to update it from time to time for you guys and um, feel free to copy and paste it from the description um, and edit it to your own, your own use. So um, yeah, ID badge, obviously good to have that and your gas safe card. A lot of people are posing to be gas engineers and aren't. So walk around with, your, with yours on you, your fuel cards, your bank cards, your coins, etc. I'm sure a few of you have been left out, I mean, um, left these things and been um, lost without them. Your phone's fully charged. Um, also your in-car charger, portable charger, good to have a portable charger. It's worth worth it having, having them. Um, clean and presentable uniform. It's good to look presentable when you're going to work. Um, also spare uniform in case you get caught in a flood where you flooded out a place or a place has been flooding you're going to do a repair and you end up saturated um good to have spare clothes spare spare trainers or whatever lunch water hot drinks pens you might be a person that likes eating out every day and spending your hard-earned cash if that's you then go for it but if you want to save that hard money you're sweating for um yeah bring your lunch in or some water or some hot drink drinks and snacks that's van clean in and out um, yeah that, that will help you work better when your van's clean um, in and out uh, what else uh, that's something you could do regularly throughout the day try and find the time um, sunglasses for when you're driving um, when that sun sneaks up and and get you um, first aid kit and PPE try and keep some on you try and keep your first first aid kit stuff on yes like plasters or a bandage because there'll be times where you cut yourself and instead of going to your van and getting your your first aid kit you'll just carry on don't be like me grabbing the ptfe tape and throwing it around your hand to stop something from leaking try and have your plasters on you or something like that um what else radiator keys i can't tell you how many times i don't know where my radiator keys are where i've taken them off my key sets my keychain um have enough radiator keys and your service key have a decent service key you can find service keys on amazon that get you into control panels um gas meters etc warning notice pads and do not use labels that's something you just can't go without so that that should be sort of at the top of the list. I'm gonna reconfigure the list later at things that you just cannot forget and have those at the top. Um, break down an accident contact, that's if your car breaks down, your van breaks down, it's good to have that number. Key contact and emails, it's good to have this written down because you can lose your phone, phone can get stolen, battery can die. I've been stranded before where my phone has died um, on me and I've not had a charger. <laughs> and I've been miles from home, no navigator. Um, no numbers for people to call anybody um, good to have numbers um, antibacterial gel multimeter good to have a very good multimeter like testo or one of these or the flukes don't get anything cheap um, fault sticks uh, analyzer good to have that charger safe and um, printer paper making sure you've got printer paper um, laser sensor for some reason i don't see many people with laser thermometers like it's strange how many gas engineers don't have laser thermometers they're good for many things for diagnosis for heat loss um or proving that you've got the heating going by taking a picture of someone's radiator um yeah they're like less than 10 pounds try and get the triple a ones rather than the nine volt ones because triple a are easier to get get you can take batteries out of something to replace them if you don't have batteries on you. Um, leak detection fluid, another must that you that you shouldn't leave your house or your van without. Um, pipe cutters, 
um, or the blades. Sometimes you can change the blades for the, your pipe cutters. Try and get the multiple size ones as well. Um, cordless drill. I don't have a Mikita or or Dewalt or anything like that. I have a cheap one that I don't mind if it gets stolen every day because it's very cheap. Um, charger and drill bits and so on. Make sure you've got your, your sizes um, inside there. Screwdrivers, angled ones, flexible screwdrivers. Various torches, yeah. Um, torches are a must. And lights, um, not good working in dark. Uh, what else is there? Various fuses, we need quick blow fuses, your three amp, five amps and so on. You need to have those on you. Electronic manometer. Um, yeah, I bought uh, one that cost about 30 pounds or so. Some people go all out and go up to the 100 pound mark with a manometer. You can use your analyzer as well for that, but it's nice to have two. I like having two, one sometimes attached to the burner, really one to the working pressure and so on. Or one might be letting you down and leaking, so you have a backup one. Um, Allen keys, good to splash out on a good set of Allen keys. Um, and so on um, meter caps you've got that's another thing up there with the warning notices uh, and uh, leak detection fluid yeah your meter caps you've got to have your, your 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 plugs and your caps to cap things off um push with caps are they're they're a godsend as well they're they're really good to have in a quick in a quick situation where you need a 15 or 22 mil cap it's nice to just have a plastic push fit um Standing knife and plasterboard knife um, are good to have on you. Um, pencils, pens, markers. Yeah, you've got to have your marker pen. You can make a little note on things when something's broken or, or a date when you've serviced something. Um, good to walk into a building with a pen rather than asking for one. Come prepared. Um, tape measure and calipers. Calipers for you know measuring the your pipe sizes if you can't see the the PN and um, DN numbers etc on it um, should I say DN number um, and hacksaws good to have various hacksaws uh, I don't think I've got a reciprocating saw on here or or angle grinder that's something good that should be added to the list that I'm gonna put on here I don't have one that's why it's not on the list I get by with hacksaws or by using a colleagues um, resip or grinder but one day it's on the wish list one day I'll get it um, various Stiltsons you've got to have your offset Stiltsons and your um, standard Stiltsons so my favorite is my 48s um, I don't see many people with them but they're good to have they can get you out of a lot of trouble they've got me out of trouble and colleagues likewise spirit level um, pipe bender and guides keep your guides with your bender take them to your bender if you can can't tell you how many times i've had to buy guides or formers um should i say for the bender um, um i don't even know if people bend pipe anymore these days people tend to use fittings for everything um plastic pipe cutters or you can just use a hacksaw um drain down hose and hose adapter um, yeah, get the orange hose. Don't get any cheap um, hoses. It's good to have a decent um, set of drain down hose. Um, wet vac, also that. I don't see many plumbers or gas engineers with wet vacs. Why? I do not know why. But they are good for unblocking um, sinks, drains, um, um, condensate traps for drain down. They're, they're wicked. They're, they're, worth, they're worth their weight in gold. Um, but buy a decent one. Um, Drill bits, yeah, make sure you've got your right drill bits on you. Double A, triple A batteries. Even your back, you can have rechargeables and a battery charger. Um, spanner set, socket set. Um, yeah, get a decent socket set. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the um, socket set that I've got, but um, you should have a decent socket set trying to remember it. it's the one in the um, orange orange box and um, it will come back to me later um, what else is there they are make sure you've got your hammer your crowbar crowbar for breaking up heat exchanger sections and, and so on pliers 
make sure you've got pliers that are electrically safe ones that can that can take a shock um, wire cutters those as well make sure that they are able to withstand high voltage um, ratchet crick, crimping sets or crimping pliers Com your commercial gas book make sure that's with you carry that on your back if you have to and your domestic gas book read that daily um, your materials book your screw fix books and so on volume installation sheet it's good to have your volume installation sheet if you're carrying out um, gas calculations to do a tightness test on a commercial meter um, what else is there overflow um, condense that's condensate pipe and fittings cheap and cheerful good to walk with them um, leak sealer inhibitor system cleaner I think is the most important one of those I've, I've fixed a few boilers with problems with um, system cleaner by just in injecting my Fernox in there and it's just cleared the problem through with one or two doses I've got to get a, a bit of heat on in there though to, to get the chemical working but if you can get that heat exchanger on for a moment you'd be surprised what that um, Fernox can do um, what we've got here Loctite um, yep, Loctite is a must. Um, PTFE tape. Um, I don't use PTFE tape that much these days. I tend to use Loctite for everything. Aluminium tape you've got to have. Electrical tape is another must. Denso tape can help you fix leaks like on a sole pipe. It's just a quick temporary fix with Denso tape can help. Um, gas identification tape is a must because there's a lot of pipe out there that hasn't got it's label on it um, jointing compound for gas yeah make sure you've got your jointing compound that's suitable for gas um, what else is there Doo -doo 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 -doo. what's this plumbers make silicone um, I don't know what that is I don't know how that got in the list <laughs> um, high temperature silicone for flues yep yeah, that's a must gotta have that on you um, fire cement is good too for sealing a flu that someone hasn't sealed on the collar as it's leaving a building or so you can just throw some fire cement in there and seal that flu um, your blowtorch um, your flux your solder etc unfortunately a lot of time in buildings you can't do much heat work but still you can go outside and solder a joint um, what else is there have your fittings have a few fittings on you to get you out of trouble um, especially compression ones they're good to have a few elbows etc elbows probably more than the T's cable three and five core cables good to have connector blocks especially your way goes um, washers o-rings you've got to have those on you WD-40 air duster sometimes you might get water on a PCB if you haven't covered it with a plastic bag I've done that before and my air dusters just sprayed that over it and got a lot of the water off um, screws multiple screw sizes and wall pugs your browns your reds good to have plasterboard fixings as well um, baller fix valves uh, yeah they're all right but I've kind of gone off baller fix valves they always leak so prefer to have lever valves in the van um, thermostatic rad valves and lock shields they're good to have good to have one or two in your van filling loops yeah another must gotta have filling loop wiring center inserts that's for plastic fittings rad vents prv washers sometimes you may not have their actual prv but if you've got the washer you can just um, change the washer on prvs even the ones on boilers smoke pellet and matches gotta have that if you're a gas man extension lead can help you out as well 32 mil waste and 40 mil waste pipe and connections uh, sand and cement is good to have for those flues again anometer um, your file and your chisel forgive me if I've forgotten anything please leave a message in the section below if, if I have um, and I'll put it on the next list I create for us to help us um, remember what we're doing all right stay safe thank you bye bye bye